save this poor little girl. Ever since she was born, whenever her sister needed something, whether it was umbilical cord blood or bone marrow stem cells, she had to give it to her sister. No one ever asked her if she wanted to. After all, she was only hurting, and her sister was saving lives. With Anna's supply, Kate miraculously survived for 11 years, but as the years went by, Kate's condition worsened. Her kidneys were failing. The only way out was for Anna, the organ banker, to give her another kidney. But this time, the ever-obedient Anna refused and took her parents to court with a lawsuit. Her mother, Sharon, angrily approached Anna's attorney and demanded that he terminate the contract on the grounds that Anna was too young to fulfill her legal rights. But the lawyer took out Anna's power of attorney and the lawsuit, in black and white. Anna's hospitalizations and donations over the years were written. Her she was helping her sister. Not Mrs. Fitzgerald, did you ever say to yourself, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I took it a little too far? I'll see you in court. Because of the constant dialysis, Kate's blood was infected and her time was running out. Her time was running out. And the doctors had to give her a death sentence. And Kate obviously couldn't accept that. Looking at her mom, who was arguing with others outside the door, Kate who was pale in the hospital room, looked unusually calm. She knew that her mother hadn't been like this before, and that all her emotions were because of her. She took out the photo album that she had looked through countless times, in which she had recorded the beautiful moments she had spent with her family. In it, she recorded her guilt for every member of her family. She knew in her heart that her parents were biased against her and that she had become a burden to the family, to her father, to her mother, to her brother, to her sister. She harbors an inexhaustible amount of guilt. As she turned the pages of the album, the image settled on a couple's photo of her and her former boyfriend, Tyler. It wasn't that long ago that Kate met Tyler, a boy who also had leukemia, when her condition wasn't so serious. Tyler's appearance was like a ray of light into her gray life. They shared the same disease and sympathized with each other. They fell in love at first sight, and an innocent romance ensued. Sarah saw it all and was happy that Kate had found the right person for her in the midst of life's difficulties. Every year, the hospital held a ball and Tyler asked Kate to go with him. Kate tried on a lot of dresses for the ball, but they didn't look good without her hair. Sarah bought Kate a wig and put on a long, white, princess-like dress. Kate finally looked her best. It was her best day ever, and Tyler's eyes were mesmerized. Her father stood in the doorway with love and happiness in his eyes. At the ball, they stood in the center of the dance floor, the brightest couple among the patients. Halfway through the dance, Tyler took Kate's hand and ran off into the distance, trying to make the most of the fleeting moments of his life, not wasting a single moment of their love for each other and running towards their happiness. But no one expected their happiness to be so short-lived.